everybody, welcome to another Educational Bite presented by Acorn Internet Services. Today we're going to go over Acorn's Supper report, which is a search engine placement problem investigation report. So um, we have already gotten to version 25 of this report because we actually update this report every time Google makes a change in its guidelines. So when you have a separate report done, you're going to get the latest and greatest information about your internet presence. Not necessarily your website. We do look at some things on your website, but for the most part, the separate report concerns off-page items that affect your search engine placement. Factors that, you know, really don't have a lot to do with your actual website, but will affect your placement. And the reason we do this is because we don't want to build you a website and have you thinking, oh, you know, I'm going to get a new website and it's going to fix all my problems. Usually when the internet, Google, you're not going to have everything fixed by just a website. So we're just going to quickly cover some of the items that we go over in our uh, SEPA report uh, that we do when we build new websites for Acorn Internet Services. Uh, the first part is a documented history. We ask you a lot of questions about your website, about your internet presence. Have you changed your name? Have you changed your address? Have you got any um, unresolved name, address, phone issues? all kinds of information. So when we get that from you, then we start working on the report. And so we first look up and see um, all kinds of information about your blog um, and your website. We're looking at the titles on your website. We're looking at how many pages you have. We're looking at your file name structure, which is the URLs of your pages um, and alt tags on your photos to see if you have them. We're looking at your homepage meta title to see if it's the newer way that Google wants to see meta titles written or the old way or if you even have meta titles on your site. Some, sometimes people don't. Um, part three is blog, all about the blog. So we're looking at the blog, we're seeing if it has, um, pages are indexed, we're seeing if categories and tags are indexed and things like that. We're looking at all kinds of information about the blog to see if it's coming up in snippets or if it's coming up as full blog feed because we wanna make sure that we're not inadvertently having duplicate content on a blog. And then uh, part four leads right into that. We're looking at duplicate content. So we use a tool called Copyscape. And what we do is we go through that with that tool and we find all of your verbiage that has been copied onto other websites on the internet because that can cause ranking problems if Google considers your own wording to be not your wording they will um, sometimes derank you. So we take a look at that. We look at your inbound links. We're looking for some bad information on your inbound links. We want to make sure that you have um, good links and not a bunch of bad link farms or, you know, sketchy content and things like that. So we're looking at that and we give you a report separately from the separate report with all your links on it. And then we look at name, address, phone, and website, which is NAT plus W. And um, we look and see if you are uh, listed on the major feeders and we look and see if you have name, address, or phone inconsistencies and then we list them out for you. And then we check MapMaker and Google Plus to see if you're listed and see if everything gets accurate there. Uh, we look and see if you have broken links on your site and we um, let you know if you do. And then we look at Webmaster Tools, which is now called Search Console. It's a Google product. And we look to see if you have um, a lot of crawl errors, dead pages, and things like that. We look at your mobile um, site speed, your main site speed, to make sure if you have a canonical link, all kinds of stuff. And then we also check your blog for those things if you have a separate blog. Then we look to see if you have rich snippets and schema on your site. We check for your social media um, and to see if it works. We go through review sites and check and see if you have any bad links. Um, we also check to make sure that you are represented on Google Plus, Yelp, and TripAdvisor for reviews. So we go through all of that once the report is done, we give you a duplicate uh, content report, we give you the links report and the completed separate report. We give you a chance to review it and then we go over it with you to make sure that um, we're doing everything we can uh, or you are doing everything you can outside of the actual website build itself to make sure that the site is going to uh, function properly and that 
extraneous off-page issues are not going to cause you a lot of problems outside of your website. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for today's Educational Bite, and have a great day.